Theatre Phonic presents a special anniversary episode, Shadow of a Dream, written by Nigel Foster. Well? Hmm? What? Oh, it's you. God give you good den, Master Fines, and may you always Yes, be... yes, and to you, too. Be brief. What progress? With? Don't do that to me, fool. You know full well what I mean. Of course I do, friend. Our new song for Her Majesty Anne Boleyn. Well, I happen to think you will be really pleased with my progress, Master Fines. So... It's finished, then? Um, not quite. But let me explain how busy I have been. I took hours to synergize all the ideas that fell in our sweet spot from last week's brainstorm, then spent four whole days adding value by reaching out across my network, and yesterday I spent the entire day disaggregating all contributions. You've not started, have you? Um, no. You! You l- I- Words fail me, Master K. If I wasn't so scared for my neck, I would set my dogs on you. Have you not realised the massive danger you are putting us in? I really cannot fathom why you are so keen on this whole thing. It sounds to me that you are just fixating on one thing. Securing a position here at court. Ralph, my one concern just now is the position of my head. I like it the way it is, on my shoulders. And I want to keep it there, if it's all the same to you. Fuss, fuss, fuss. And all over a stupid piece of music. Excuse me? Is that what you really think about this commission from the Queen herself? It is truly an amazing honour, Ralph. Have you even thought what this could lead to? Advancement. Patronage from amongst the King's highest noblemen. Except we haven't written a single word or set down one solitary quaver, have we? And the deadline is sundown today. Look, it can't be that difficult, can it? Everyone's composing a ditty these days. Master Hibbard wrote a ditty that the Queen's court musician was pleased to play for Her Majesty only last week. And of course, Great King Harry himself has penned several very catchy tunes. All right, all right. So, when can you make a start? Time is badly running out, Ralph, my friend. We cannot afford to put it off any longer. What say you? Uh, We go outside and find ourselves a quiet spot in the gardens. Agreed. I'll bring my portable writing desk. You fetch your loot. I'll see you in the Rose Garden as soon as you can get there. Ah, here you are, finally. While you've been faffing around, I have found true inspiration for our lyrics from amongst these sweet, scented roses. Mm. We did agree it has to be a courtly love theme, Mm? didn't we? Mm. Well, how about a sad song of farewell from one who dies of love? Something like, <clears throat> By a bye to the apple of my eye, rode my courser to the cross keys, but the cross keys was dry. And those good old boys were eating passion fruit pie, singing, This will be the day that I die. Lay me in a shroud of sweet saddle. Ooh. 
Not sure about that final line, Thomas. Lay me in a shroud of sweet cedar. Sweet cedar doesn't scan. And a lot of it feels familiar. Swear to me on your life that you haven't copied it off someone else. You do know how the Queen gets really angry if she suspects plagiarism. No, no. I, I assure you, this is all my own work. But who knows? My genius as a lyricist may well inspire young men in future generations to pass off my words as their own. All right, all right. Just checking. But we've got no time left now. It will just have to do. Pass it over to me, Ralph. I have a copyist waiting to write it up neatly to befit the Queen. Mark my words closely. You and I will always remember today as the day our careers here at court started to blossom. Well, Thomas, is it done? Oh, yes, sir, it is. Just look at this. Excellent. Let me see. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Perfect. The notation is true and good. I am honestly convinced that it will charm Her Majesty. We must hurry to get it over to Master Smeaton now. You, Paige, come hither. Take this music to Master Smeaton, the Queen's Court musician. Right away, my masters. Excellent! Our fortunes are as good as made, Master K. God save you, my masters. What was that about? And to you, my master. That parchment is our passport to fame and riches. Master Hibbert, <laughs> it is a song the pair of us have composed for Master Smeaton to play to Her Gracious Majesty, the Queen. You haven't heard the news, then? Master Smeaton was arrested this afternoon on order of the King, forgetting to... ahem... <clears throat> friendly with Her Majesty. No! We'll be hung, drawn, and quartered! We are lost! <laughs> oh, dear Lord! Quick, Thomas! Overtake the page and retrieve our document! Huh? Boy! 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 Stop for the love of God! Yes! I'll be taking that! Be quick! The Queen is nearly on us! Scratch out all the lyrics and we'll tell Her Majesty this was uh, uh, always intended to be a purely instrumental piece. The Queen! 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 Your Majesty. Majesty. You two clowns, where is the song that I commissioned from you? I want it for tonight. My Lady Margaret, take that parchment from these two idiots, and for their sakes it had better be a worthy piece. I don't think I managed to erase all the words. That what? wasn't time. You're joking. So what do we have here? Hmm. It appears to be a pretty tune. Written for the loot, I'd wager. But no words. Save for by A at the very start, then a long, thick black line ending with da. By a da, my masters. By a da. By a da.
You have been listening to a special anniversary episode, Shadow of a Dream, written by Nigel Foster, directed by Emmeline Brayfield, with Matt Salmon as Thomas Fiennes, Peter M. Smith as Ralph Kay, Heath Netherton as The Page and Queen Anne, and John Cooper Evans as Master Hibbard. The anniversary-inspired theme tune was composed by Jackson Pentland, performed by Matt Salmon, Peter M. Smith, and Jackson Pentland. Produced by Cat on a Piano Productions. For more information about the Theatrephonic podcast, go to catonapiano.uk forward slash theatrephonic, tweet or Instagram us at theatrephonic, or visit our Facebook page. If you enjoy Theatrephonic and would like to get more content, please consider becoming a patron by going to patreon.com forward slash theatrephonic. Please don't forget to rate and review. Thank you for listening. <laughs>